All right, what is good? What is happening, everybody? It's your boy Pimmer VK here. We're back with another video. This time, the STB556. The last time we covered this one was actually before season one, and this weapon did receive a bit of a nerf recently. Um, not in season one, but actually just before season one came out. So, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. Appreciate you guys showing the love and support. As always, let's go ahead and get right into today's class. So, first things first, we're gonna have this one's a no-brainer attachment. Then we got the VLZR. 7 milliwatt laser this is going to give you the most amount of aim down sight speed with your weapon highly recommend you guys use this it will be visible to enemies so do bear that in mind but it's usually not too big of a deal in this case next attachment we got is going to be the bruin taraco 686 millimeter this is going to give you the most amount of range as well as a built-in suppressor with the weapon so you're getting the best of both worlds here obviously since it has a built-in suppressor this will block your muzzle attachment so you cannot use a muzzle in this case but you usually don't have to worry too much about it as it will pretty much allow you to still be able to use um any other attachment in the game uh for your tuning in this case you're going to want to tune for aim walking speed to about the 0.27 range and for your aim down sight tuning you want to go pretty much all the way in this case to about 0.4 for your next attachment to stock and this is pretty much the only good one here uh you're going to use the bruin mx9 stock this is actually an smg stock for the mx9 smg which is the uh smg version of the aug uh so you're going to want to make sure you're using this one tune this only for aim walking speed as well for extra mobility to about 1.58 and for your aim down sight speed you'll tune this to about the 2.87 range on the aim down sight area your rear grip is going to be the stb the stip 40 grape or stipe stipe 40 grape uh this is going to give you recoil control with the weapon uh as you will certainly need it just to tighten up that extra recoil that it does have uh you'll tune this to about 0.56 on the negative side and for your sprint to fire speed which is very important you'll tune this to about the 0.45 range as well pretty much just all the way in this case and last but not least your magazine attachment is going to be the 42 round mag to be completely honest with you i have no idea what the single tap mod does and i certainly would not touch it uh so in this case just go with the safe route go with the 42 it's going to be the best option here in this case that actually that extra 12 rounds does certainly help a lot and you'll see that certainly within this gameplay but anyways guys let me know what you guys think about this class this is by far one of the more underrated sm uh one of the more underrated ars in this case uh it performs really well uh i personally think this is better than the m4 that's just me though but uh, let me know what you guys think i'll catch you guys in the next one let's go ahead and flip right to the gameplay not being a little bitch dude you have an spr and you're scared to peek why Fucking dumb. Let him slip. EMP this. Got lucky. Let's call this advance. We need this now. Got lucky again. We're gonna wait. We're gonna wait him out. We're gonna back up here. I don't want to push too far because they're just gonna play really scared. Kind of like that. My gosh, dude. I'm dead. I couldn't move. That's just not good. No, I didn't want to slide, dude. Come on now. Really wish I had a UAV right now. Of course. Here 
You're gonna find a way to screw me over with these spawns, bro. I'm telling you. It always happens. Oh, he was just about to peek, too. Took a risk reach on that. And there's a nuke. The lengths I have to go through to get these nukes sometimes, man, it really is quite an interesting journey. But we made it happen. See, that's why I didn't push. Literally. This guy literally has a freaking... What is that thing called? Waiting for me. That's why I didn't push. I knew that guy would be back there. Gotta be careful. They can spawn literally in this corner. Never mind. They flipped. Serious right now? And trip mine. I, I couldn't go prone. It wouldn't let me. Look at all these hit markers. I ain't resting your ass, teammate. You can die for all I care. I kind of hope they come back, so that way I, when I call in the nuke, it'll show that they're winning. But I don't think that's going to happen. That's literally all this clown can do, bro. Called a nuke. Okay. I guess I didn't call it. Now we'll call in the nuke. Of course I get shot at as I'm calling it in. Why are you even there, man? Y'all lost. GG's. Try camping in another spot. Maybe one day you'll win a game. Behind barricades. All the cheesy stuff. Shock charges. GG's, fellas. Drop a like. Let me know what y'all think about the STB. Still a good weapon. It did receive its nerf quite a bit of some time ago, but I still can appreciate this weapon. I'm out of here, though. Peace out, fellas. Laters. Screw them shock charges, bro.